When we arrived, Sashi was looking glam. But for her, it was all part of the working day with a trusted creative collaborator. Well, Kevin and I have been working together for over a decade now, so it's a really long time. So it's really great when you have a personal relationship with a photographer. Um, he knows you, he knows your angles, I know him. I still laugh at his jokes <laughs> 10 years in. Each shot is a performance with subtle changes in expression and posture. A lot of people would see the end result of a photo shoot and think, wow, that looked really easy, but it kind of takes a team to get it looking like that. You know, you've got the hair and makeup, you have the photographer, um, and then there's also prep as the model that you need to do. You need to make sure that you look good, that you've taken care of yourself, so you're in your best form for the shoot. Nobody wants to work with a model where you've got a Photoshop bulges and bad skin, so it's just I take care of myself, I eat healthy, drink loads of water, and I go to the gym. The colleagues respect her for her approach to the job. Working with Sassy is wonderful. She's comfortable with herself, she's comfortable in front of the camera, she's easy going, on time, professional, she's wonderful. With the shoot wrapped up, it was time to get to know the home girl. My home is definitely my sanctuary. I think I've done everything in my house myself, so every little thing you'll see from the vase to the painting to the furniture I've chosen and done myself, so it really is very special to me. I think a lot of people see me out all the time and think, oh, she must be such a party animal, but actually I'm really a homebody, so it's important for me to have a place that I can come, relax, chill and wine. Earth tones abound while organic shapes complement the discipline of geometry. For all its cool, orderly elegance, this is also a home with plenty of personal touches. I've pretty much gone with a neutral colour theme throughout the house, but there are lots of pops of colour, with red and green and turquoise coming in. Also, there's lots of masculine lines in the room, so I've done some fun things like, in my study, I've put a beautiful lip wallpaper, which I thought was very feminine, just to kind of add more of me into the house. After a wall full of kisses, should it be a surprise that there's a chandelier in the closet? This has got to be one of my favorite areas in the house. Like every woman, I have an obsession with shoes and handbags. Mm. Um, so what I really try and do is every time I travel to a new place or travel somewhere different, I buy one item, a beautiful handbag or a beautiful pair of shoes, and I bring them back to the closet. Um, and that way, kind of instead of spending money on trinkets and all of those kind of things, I have one item that will remind me of my holiday and also indulge my addiction. So I started a fashion blog called Sashi's Closet and the reason why I started it is just started very innocently on Instagram. I was posting a picture every day of what I'd wear to work and I got a really good response from it so I decided why not try my hand at a blog and it's really fun to kind of experiment, put together different uh, looks and you know so I'm really pushing the boundaries in terms of what I would do with fashion which is really nice. Raised by her loving parents in Port Elizabeth, Sashi says that she grew up with a monobrow and braces and had no ambitions of being a model. In fact, she initially opted for a very practical career choice. I knew that I wanted to study chiropractic and that's actually why I moved to Johannesburg to study that and that was in about 1999. And I moved here and I was loving the course. I studied for five years the theoretical training and then two years of practical training. One of my part-time jobs as a student was delivering flowers and I was delivering flowers to an ad agency and when I walked in the lady said, are you here for the casting? I said, no, I'm just here to drop off the flowers. So she let me in anyway. I did the casting, you know, me being very forward and I got the job and I really liked it. It was amazing to be on set. I loved the experience. And I think I've just kind of grown from there in terms of loving it so much that I actually wanted to be behind the scenes as well. Putting the experience she had gained in the industry to good use, Sashi opened her own agency in 2006, despite being told that she wouldn't have a clue how to do it. Basically, I'd had a real tough time finding a model agency when I started because I'm not the typical shape, I'm not tall, I'm not skinny like rake skinny. And I thought, well, you know, it doesn't make any sense because that's not what the general population looks like. And I think there definitely was a market for it. 
They've had to eat their words because her business and her career are thriving. One of the things I love the most about what I do is that there is no typical day. There really isn't. Um, I could be on stage shooting. I could be having a meeting with clients. I could be meeting with models. Um, I could be on set supervising, not in a, in a role of model. Um, I could be in the agency booking. So I really think that's what drives me, that I get to do all these different things and I never get bored. With the world at her feet, she could be forgiven for focusing on her own life right now. But that's not sashi style. I really believe that it's so important to give back. So I'm a brand ambassador for Kotlin's and I also do work for the Hort Bag Project. And Kotlin's, obviously everyone knows, um, started off as a baby sanctuary for you know orphan kids with AIDS. But they've really moved on and they were doing incredible work in the community and I'm so happy and proud that I get to be a part of that. While her portfolio is filled with stunning images of Sashi the model, there's also ample evidence that she's a victim of the travel bug and she loves it. Travelling for me is an all-consuming passion. I absolutely love it. In fact, it's my first love. Um, I do have some favourite places that I've been to. Um, the big cities, Paris, New York, London. You know, I feel that I've been blessed with an amazing career and, you know, so much has happened in business that I'm very excited about. But I think in the next five years, I'd really like to settle down, have a family and take on a new role. Mommy, <laughs> that'd be pretty cool.